Jeremy, you talk of white collar psychopaths. Do right. you have to be a psychopath to work in finance or does it just help? <laughs> so that's a very funny question. No, you do not have to be a psychopath to work in finance. If you are a psychopath, please don't go into finance. And most financiers are not psychopaths. Unfortunately, you know, the finance industry got a pretty bad rap as, as a result of the credit crisis. And I'm not going to justify when it, many of the practices that went up leading to 2007, 2008. But most bankers are you know, fairly ordinary people. The financial psychopath that you're talking about and I write about is very different, right? And I think, unfortunately, there are. There are white-collar psychopaths out there. Not many, but, you know, again, on the, on the normal distribution of moral behaviour, they're somewhere way out here and they're virtually different beings altogether. And they fit many of the actual psychological profiles of psychopaths. They are often, on the one hand, very energetic, uh, can be quite dynamic but also have a total lack of empathy. Deeply narcissistic uh, personality, often extremely compelling, and we ordinary human beings can often be attracted to them like flies. They use that sort of compelling, superficial attractiveness to take people to bad places. And of course, it, look, this happens in world history on a much grander scale. Some of the worst dictators in, in world history were psychopaths who exploited just the ordinary uh, moral weakness of your average man out there. But letting the Patrick Batemans of this world run amok, surely there's some benefit. That sort of comes back to regulation. I mean, you know, I don't believe you should regulate stuff to death. All sorts of entrepreneurs have achieved all sorts of long-term benefits by misbehaving badly. We don't want to have a, a regulatory environment where um, an entrepreneurial, but maybe a little bit on the edge guy can't do his stuff. Because uh, as you say, they can be great innovators. But many of these, many of the real psychopaths are actually cause terrible, terrible damage. I mean, Bernie Madoff was one example of that. I mean, Bernie Madoff made initially a mistake that many fund managers made. He was short of working capital and he dipped into his client accounts to try and fill the working capital in his firm. And there are a lot of fund managers who do that. It's not allowed, but they do it out of desperation. They're running out of money. The usual Joe, the usual guy, fesses up to his problem after a year or two and, he's, and he says, look, I, I did wrong and we've got to refix this. The difference between a Bernie Madoff is that he industrialised that process. He really didn't care that he'd stolen from client money and he then just continued to steal from all his clients' money and just, you know, churn it all round in a Ponzi scheme. And that went on for 20 years and probably would have never been found out but for the credit crisis. So that is different. The Bernie Madoffs, no, they are psychopaths and they are bad and we need to have protection from them. Mm -hmm.